Hey fellow explorers, welcome to Explore Halloween, where I read you 31 different wonderful spooky stories this month. One for every day of October, the Halloween month. Tonight's story? Well, let's find out. This is my good friend Hallie. Now Hallie always brings the most fantastical, spooky, scary stories to read. Hallie, what story did you bring for us to read tonight? You know? I keep waiting for her to say something, but she never does. She's very, very quiet. But she did bring a book. Let's find out which one. <gasps> it's raining bats and frogs. Ooh, that sounds like a good one. Let's check it out. Every year, Delia looked forward to flying in the witch parade. This year was no different despite the black clouds hovering overhead. <gasps> I think it's going to rain, said Delia. Is it gonna rain? Maybe, look at those houses. They must be witches' houses because it looks like they have witches' hats on top. Instead of roofs, they have witches' hats. Very cool, huh? It did rain hard. The witches were wet and miserable. It's raining on our parade, wailed one. Positively pouring buckets, moaned another. That gave Delia an idea. <gasps> I wonder what her idea is, huh? Look at it's ruining their happy Halloween parade. That's awful. Those poor witches, huh? Delilah whipped out her wand and began to chant. It's raining, it's pouring, the raindrops are boring. Change the rainfall on my head, make it cats and dogs instead. <gasps> Whoa, check that out. Is it gonna happen, you think? You think it'll change to cats and dogs? Let's find out how good of a witch Delia is. Ha <laughs> ha it worked! Nice doggy, one, the one witch says. I never met a cat I didn't like. Oh, look at that cute kitty cat hanging on the, on the broom there, huh? The witches were thrilled at first. Look at all the cats and dogs. That's a lot of them. You know, I love cats and dogs, but you gotta admit, that's a lot of cats and dogs. I mean, they're fun to pet and all, but you gotta feed them all and you gotta pooper scoop them all. That, that's a lot of work, a lot of work. Uh-oh, then the parade came to an abrupt halt. You call this a cat? Dog Nabbit, give me my broom back. <laughs> that dog stole the witch's broom. This will never do, said Delia, raising her wand a second time. The raining and pouring may have been quite boring, but cats and dogs, they just don't work. They hiss and bark and go berserk. So change was falling on my head, making hats and clogs instead. Hats and clogs? You know, I'm no genius expert here, but clogs are quite heavy, aren't they? They're made out of wood or something. They come, come down and conk you right in the head, that's gonna hurt. Well, let's find out. Black hat's my favorite. A girl can never have too many shoes. Well, so far, all the witches seem happy. I guess the clogs aren't hitting them on the head. So I guess they're happy about it. The witches were overjoyed at first. Uh-oh. Well, maybe there are troubles, let's find out. That's my hat. No, it's my hat. Well, those are my shoes. I saw them first. Then the parade erupted into a free-for-all. Well, they weren't getting hit in the head by the clogs, but they all wanted them while they're fighting over them. Uh-oh. That's not good. Delia sighed. What a big to-do, she said, waving her wand again. The raining and pouring may have been quite boring, but hats and clogs just have to go. Inciting fights, creating woe. So change was falling on my head. Make it bats and frogs instead. <gasps> bats and frogs. Hey, that's the name of the book. It's raining bats and frogs. Is that the solution? Let's find out. Snack time, girls. Oh, they're eating the frogs. Somebody grab a cauldron and they're cooking the bats. Oh, oh, oh no. Those poor bats and frogs are being eaten and cooked. Oh, that's terrible. The witches were ecstatic at first. Uh-oh, what happened next? But then the witches became even more wet and miserable than before. I've been slimed. I don't think that's slime. Uh-oh. Pee and poop and slime? Not a good combination, is it? No, not at all. <sighs> what should we do, wanted Delia. Delia had run out of ideas. Gnats and bogs, she mumbled to herself. Mats and logs, rats and hogs? Hmm, what could she do? Let's think. Uh, let's see. Tats and togs? 
Don't even know what that is. <laughs> Let's find out what she did. The more Delia thought about it, the more she realized there was only one thing to do. What was that? With that, she raised her wand one last time and chanted, The raining and pouring wasn't really boring, and bats and frogs just make a mess. They drop and plop and cause distress. So change was falling on my head, back to drops of rain instead. Uh-oh, right back to where she started from, back to raindrops. Well, how about that? Maybe they can just grab an umbrella. That'll work too, right? Can't hurt. Thank goodness, it's only water. The witches were relieved. The parade soon proceeded. And the longer it rained, the more exciting the parade became. A little rain never hurt anyone, they said. Look at that, they're hopping around, riding their broom with their hats and their clogs, <laughs> watching the rain. And the frogs are like, hey, the frogs love it because they like water, right? And the bats are flying around like, hey, we're getting clean. Ha <laughs> ha, how funny is that? And look at that, the whole parade, a band of ghosts. Wow, interesting stuff, huh? The floats began to float. Oh, look at those floats. Wow, exciting. Skeleton floats and, and skeleton in grass skirts doing hula hoop dances, huh? The marching band learned synchronized swimming. Ha <laughs> ha. They had to because it was raining so much, huh? And look at all oh, the, the witches are doing synchronized broom flying. Wow. And look at that one. Way in the back, there's like a whole float with gigantic spiders on it. Wow. Wow. That's a pretty cool parade, huh? I like it a lot. So what happens next? Let's find out. Got to turn the page here. Okay, here we go. And Delia and her friends tossed water balloons into the crowd. <laughs> well, I guess you can't get any wetter once it's raining, right? Can't hurt. Everyone agreed it was the best parade ever. Of course it was. And look at the scarecrows have a big giant inflatable pumpkin they're pulling along. Ha! <laughs> what an awesome parade. Look at that. Wow. There's a whole crowd watching it, and they're getting wet from the water balloons, and the rain, of course. Wow. Until the year it snowed. Oh, that was the best parade ever until the year it snowed, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Snowing on Halloween? That's very unusual, you gotta admit. Well, that was a good book, don't you think? Written by Rebecca Colby and illustrated by Stephen Henry. Wow. It's raining bats and frogs. Well, if you see it in the library, check it out, or buy it if you want to, somewhere in the store. All right, well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, I'm reading you 31 spooky, fun, fun-filled adventures, Halloween stories, just for you this October. One for every day of the month. Check it out. All right. Bye-bye-bye-bye. <laughs>